So for this assignment, I chose Doris Fleshman. Forgive me if I said it wrong. Um, originally, I was going to do Edward Bernays, her husband, but as I researched further, I realized that most of his achievements, she had a hand in. Um, so then I decided to take more of a deeper look into his wife instead and her contributions to his work and his business. And from my point of view, she was honestly the real mastermind behind all of his campaigns, his outreaches, and public relations. I feel like she did most of the brains work and he just kind of advocated for her because at that time, women didn't really have much say in the public relations field, so the men had to do it. And since he was that kind of guy, he did it for her. Now, um, I think I should go into her backstory a little bit. She was born on July 18th in New York City. She was the second child of four and the niece of Sigmund Freud. That was via marriage with Edward Bernays. She graduated high school in 1909, entering Bernard College that fall. While in college, she had won varsity letters for softball, basketball, and tennis. Along with her normal studies in writing, she also studied music for a little bit. She did want to be a singer, but it just didn't really pan out for her and align with her views. Once she graduated college, she landed a job at the New York Tribu Tribune, where she worked for quite a bit of time writing in the women's page. She got promoted to assistant Sunday editor and was the first woman to cover a prize fight. She also got to interview some pretty big people like Theodore Roosevelt, Irene Castle, and Jane Addams. In 1919, um, her soon-to-be husband in a couple years hired her on as a writer for his PR office and come three years later in 1922 they got married. A fun little story is uh, when they went to the hotel for their honeymoon she signed with her maiden name which I'll get more into that in a little bit. Um, she was also a major advocate and member of the Lucy Stone League, which promoted women being able to keep their maiden names after her marriage, which I think is pretty cool that she led that um, campaign. Uh, she also was part of Theta Sigma Phi, which was the National Sorority of Women in Communications, and in 1972, she won their headliner award. A uh, little backtracking. In 1929, she had her first daughter, Doris II. And then in 1930, she had her second daughter, Anne. Uh, she also considered herself to be a deist while acknowledging her Jewism, basically. She really didn't practice her religion. She just aligned with it. Uh, in 1955, Doris and her husband moved to Cambridge, Massachusetts, where their daughters had lived and that's where she remained until she passed away in, on July 10th of 1980 from a stroke. Um, what's really special about her is her strong-minded feminism. Uh, she never gave up when she really wanted something and worked hard all her life to achieve her goals. She just had that mindset, I want this, I'm going to go out and get it. Uh, she believed in women's rights, especially to keep their maiden name after marriage. One really fun part, uh, she was the first ever woman to get a passport that uh, she kept her maiden name. So what happened was she wanted to be identified as the person she was before marriage. She didn't want to take on an extra identity. So when she applied to get her passport, the government had tried to appeal it, so she wrote back and said, said these specific words. The purpose of a passport is to establish identification, and she didn't want to 
travel under a false name because, you know, she had been Doris Flushman all her life. She didn't really want to be traveling under a different last name. She wanted it under her original maiden name. Uh, she did win that and became the first person to ever do that, which I think is really cool. And that was the start of her really big, passionate, proactive hand in the Lucy Stone League. Um, she definitely was a force to be reckoned with. Uh, so that's about it. Um, hope you liked it. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if you have any extra questions.